You and I know you ain't about that life. Isla Verde there we're gonna go there by car we're gonna start rolling at 3 a.m. and we're gonna go straight to the Bangau port yeah I will be with my family and my friend so yeah I'll keep you guys busy bye bye Eddie Meow sa ka baby boys. So hi again guys. Um ito na nga at nag-start na kaming mag-roll. I mean, medyo na late na kami ng very light kasi nga naghintay pa kami sa mga kasama namin yung isang kapatid ko. And anyway, ito na nga at dumating na kami sa port and explain ko yung mga fees namin. Hello. Hello. Nasaan tayo? Ha? Nasaan tayo? Nasa Tabungao. Nasa Tabungao. Tabungao port. Parking area. Look at that man. One fifty, one fifty bell on parking for twenty four hours. I found no one got it. Tanti lang. Sa taba na po yan. Tambi boy ko. Hello. Saan tayo pupunta? Sa. Di niya alam. Parang resort na rin ikaw kanina sa hotel. It's La Verde. Ayun. Ay, wait. Akala ko resort. We're going to Green Island. Green Island. Punto tayo sa Verde Island. Verde Island. Very good. Ang taming basura. Ba't sila naka-yellow? Doon ka daw. Bully. Doon ka daw. So, Verde Island or Isla Verde is a volcanic and small island located off the coasts of Batangas Province in the Verde Island Passage, which is a strait that separates the islands of Luzon and Mindoro in the Philippines. So, in this island, there are six barangays um and meron namang electricity sa town but it goes in and out in the daytime um don't worry though most of uh the houses and communities are solar powered yun nga lang ibang accommodation doon walang ac but to our luck uh our accommodation had ac rooms kaso nga lang malayo siya sa beach plenty of things to do on the island just like other islands in the philippines you can do snorkeling scuba diving hiking visiting beaches local markets, historical sites, and island hopping. Just make sure though to arrive at the airport early in the morning bound for Isla Verde as there is just one trip in the morning going to the island. Same with going back to Batangas Port from Isla Verde which leaves at 5 a.m. As mentioned earlier, I'm gonna share our experience um, with our accommodation kasi may konting issue lang naman nung magpunta kami dyan. And also, I will share the fees, um, everything that we paid uh, para makarating dyan sa Verde Island. Hindi, masarap magano dyan. Oo, pero dun tayo magano sa may ilahan. Okay, we've arrived. Diba no? Medyo maalon today. Nakakalurky. Welcome to Verde Island. Where did you see? Yeah, my family. Yon, ano meron dito? So, hi guys! I'm here in Verde Island with my family and we're currently staying at Verde Nisi. So, medyo complicated yung nangyari. Hindi ako aware na I was contacting the coordinator 
um, hindi yung actual employees sa sa place na to. Kaya medyo may complications ng konti. May mga incorrect info na na-provide and all that. So, if you're going here and you want to stay at Verdanese, I suggest that you look for their Facebook page and sila mismo yung kontakin ninyo regarding the rates, reservations of rooms, um, how many packs, at pati yung boat na rin. So, anyway, um, the place is nice. And we arrived at the port, Tabangao port, around 5.30. So, parang 2 hours and a half. Almost 2 hours na boat ride papunta naman dito. Medyo maalon today. Mga boat, isang beses lang silang babiyahe. Kasi nga sa sobrang laki ng mga alam. So, ayan. We will be staying here for for oh, uh, for the night. And then, we're gonna go back tomorrow to Manila. So far, okay naman yung place. Um, actually, yung breach front niya. Mabato. Pero that's okay. Um, expect ko na siya. Nakita ko na kasi siya sa picture. So, okay lang naman. Um, but we will go sa, sa may sawang dive camp. At saka may isa pa, yung mahabang buhangin ba yun? So, magde-day tour lang kami doon. Anyway, the boat transfer, it's 250, 250 pesos per head one way. So, round trip, that's 500 per head. Eh, 12 kami. So, 500 times 12 pa yun. And then, yung rental, it's 2,000 per night. So, dalawang kubo na fan rooms yung kinuha namin. So, 4,000 siya. And then, nag-avail din kami ng AC room. Uh, good for 4 packs. So, that's 2,500 pesos. And then, yung, yung friend ko, na, na vlogger din, um, nag-avail siya ng tent with kutsyon na rin yung mattress. So, that's 350. Okay lang naman. Medyo cheap siya. Hindi lang ganun kamahal. Nagkaroon lang talaga ng uncoordination sa mga nag-coordinate ng tour. Hindi ko alam kung sino yung kukontakin. May, may nakontak kong Randy, may nakontak kong Nika. And then pagdating dito, hindi pala sila taga dito. Parang coordinator nga lang daw sila. So, maybe it's my fault na rin kasi hindi ko na-check mismo yung um, Facebook page ng place na to. And nakita ko kung ano lang nakita ko is the verde at chuchu chuchu transient, transient yun lang yung um, sinabihan ko. Anyway, we're gonna tour the island later and we're gonna show you how it looks or what it looks like. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye! Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. So this is the 2,000 pesos room. Ang ganda guys, kahit walang aircon. Diba ma? Fan room lang siya. O, oh, uh, paamo. Madumi. Hindi madumi. Nakachinilas ako. Okay. So, which front naman? Ito okay lang. Ito isang room. Another 2,000 pesos para sa room na to. Let's keep, pero okay lang naman. What can you say about the room? Yan lang sinabi niya. At ito pa yung isang lang kubo. Ano mo kami? Ano mo kami? Pinela, sa tanggal. Ito! Nandun yung AC room. Ano? Ayun na yung ikot niya. Ano ba? Seryoso ka ba? Good night, sabi niya. Ha? <laughs> hey! Palakarin mo kaya yung doggy mo? Ay, bongga naman ito. Mabato pa rin. Pero okay lang din. Parang Shargao feels. Another thing that I realized after staying sa Verde Nisei 
medyo malayo talaga siya sa main beach dyan sa may sawang cave akala ko kasi parang mga mga 3 to 5 minutes walk mga ganun. sinabihan kami na kailangan namin mag take ng motorcycle kasi medyo malayo lang yung lakarin doon kaya namang siyang lakarin so nagpa ano na sumabay lang kami umangkas kami doon and siningil lang kami for about 20 pesos each. Then, it took us like 10 minutes to get there dun sa beach. Medyo may regrets ako sa pagstay sa Verdenise. I, I like the place, but it's really far from the main beach na maganda yung ano, buhangin. So, sayang. Uh, sana nagstay ako around Sawang Cave. But anyway, nangyari na. And lesson learned. So, that's why I'm telling you guys. Next. Surface interval. Looking on. Ganda nun. Sarap sana mag-book dito, mahal naman. Nice! Nice, nice. Eh, layo naman para liguan. So, magkatabi lang sila. Doon guys, pa Puerto Galera. Duh! Come on. 